Uh, my name's Tom Tanner. I'm a research fellow at the Overseas Development Institute, ODI, uh, where I head up the adaptation and resilience work. I've just come out of a session that we organised called Have You Got the Wow Factor, which was the idea of taking the X Factor format to uh, monitoring and evaluation problems for community-based adaptation and uh, allowing the presenters to be contestants in a game show where they were given six minutes to deliver, deliver their song or their message about why their approach was uh, innovative, so why it was exciting, why was it effective, why should, and why should you be doing it. So to try and persuade people that their approach was the one that had the most, uh, the greatest wow factor, and we gave them six minutes just to, to use a combination of kind of PowerPoint and you know comedy uh, to deliver their messages. And I think it worked really well in kind of livening up the audience, who then had a chance to vote on who was the winner. Uh, we put them, asked people to move to different corners of the room according to who they who they wanted to vote for, having sent the contestants out of the room. Uh, and then the losing the lose the person with the least votes uh, was reass were re reassigned to, to others until we eventually ended up with one winner who won a trophy. And it just it just livened up the session slightly um, at the end, towards the end of a conference when after lunch people are flagging slightly, and uh, and it got got the messages through really clearly because the, the the participants had to focus like contestants. They had, they had their six minutes of fame and they had to focus their message uh, in a much sharper way, I think, than they would have in a normal uh, presentation. There's a lot of questions around uh, the sustainability of approaches. There's this persistent problem that the, the new and innovative and exciting uh, examples of monitoring evaluation that are set up, whether it be how we target particular people, how we track uh, the, the resilience of people, the effectiveness of adaptation on the ground, but these things often die away. And so the, the main question I think was like, how is your approach going to sustain? How is it going to be taken forward by, by those at community level and the communities themselves um, rather than being something that's say driven much more kind of technologically from from the top. Key lesson learning certainly, you know, make it lively, liven up the liven up the uh, the session, uh, make it exciting. Wear wear ridiculous bow ties. Um, <laughs> anything really just to to, to, to break up the, 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 the potential people flagging and the not really listening. Um, and I think having the kind of game show format with a, with a prize actually made the people, the presenters, really sharpen their presentations. Um, I saw them this morning, one of them passed one of the other presenters and he gave him a real cold shoulder with a real kind of like, morning. And they're all really getting really competitive and I saw them all working really hard at their presentations in ways that maybe they wouldn't have if they'd just been on a normal panel.